customers almost here at the shop. Look at all the boats. 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 Oh, skis are over there in the corner. All the boats. Austin must be working hard. So today, on Advantage Power Sports, we're going to be doing titanium. The after. What color? What color do you think? It's totally up to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, my favorite colors is like, I like that uh, crazy. Too. Well, my dillies are purple. The yeah. dillies, but you know, then you copy me. Oh, um, you have purple? Well, no. My, color my, my name is more purple. More purple. Okay. Not so color change? No. Straight no, purple. Really okay. This is scary. Arctic acid is a scary, scary thing. Let's drink it. You know, it's not really doing much of a reaction. Oh, there it goes. Does it have to be that, or can it just be a uh, kind of low sales? It can be different brands. We'll and now, I just... Just because of what it lit in, it looks like high-end, a high-end container. I don't know. See, I think this stuff has I have this two stuff. gallons sitting on my shelf right now. Well, yeah, and I have just normal moronic acid, but I just, what I was re reading... A lot of people like this the best. This particular uh, brand. How much is that? A... Not bad. Like eight dollars, maybe. Eight dollars. Yeah. Is there a reason you set it on the floor? It's gonna blow up. <laughs> no, I just want away from anything mm. that's metal and important. Because that gas it puts off is actually corrosive, and I don't want it corroding like this. Oh yeah, look at it. Just see it. Yeah. How long do you let it sit? Um, <coughs> a minute or so. You want to get that that shiny gone and the, any of the surface scratches gone. And the borax. What is it for? <laughs> is it kind of like a flux you'd think? I don't think so. You don't think so? It's, it's chemistry type stuff that I don't understand, but it makes the magic work. It makes the magic work. Hmm. And this is actually the same stuff we use to coat Dude. steel to make the forge. Oh. It's used as a flux in that. Yeah. To coat the, the steel. It coats it with like a <clears throat> How long would you say this process takes? Not long. Really? It take longer to make bolts. I don't have a rack or something. But if you had a rack, you could just rack them and stack them? Yeah, put them all in there. No. What'd you pour in this one? Distilled water and then just sink water. So you have to like after you go out, dip, dip. Yeah, you, you want to neutralize it. It's getting hot. Wow, look at it. It's not sheeny no more. Uh -huh. Here, let's uh, pick that up. Well, that's going to turn out so good. Four round them. Four round them. <laughs> They're fragile. They're like weaker than aluminum. Don't tell me you got muriatic acid in your eye. No, got me in the forehead. Oh, it'll be alright too. So this is the distilled, and that's the sink water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, distilled just neutralizes it. I think we got a good itch. You can see how they're all the same, you know, match finish. That's what you want. Next step is anodizing. Mm. So I don't know. What color do you think? 
Either either a whoa whoa purple or a whoa whoa blue. There we go. Or can you do orange? No. Do uh, gold. Gold. Yeah. See the. Uh... Can you see that the weird? I've never seen that before. I think it's because it was left in there a little too long. Those. Yeah, pitties. Yeah, it almost looks like pits. Yeah, you're only supposed to leave it in there for a minute max. You might have left it in there. <laughs> this is why I wish I had a uh, net. Okay. You can uh, watch it, it changes right away. Okay, it's like a goldish color. Yeah, so that's brown. It's the lowest color scale you can do. So now we're starting to get into dark purple. <laughs> so crazy. Is that the kind of color you're wanting? Brightest thing you can do. Well, I don't know what you mean. If you're wanting more of a purple, that's probably as purple as we're going to get. Because it'll go into a blue. And it gets into purple again at higher voltage. But Let's, let's keep going. Okay. Yeah, that's what I really want to... Do you mean hold it? I was just saying because you get better. You can probably see it better out in the middle. Just make sure it's completely underwater. After anodizing it, and this takes it, it breaks it off. Oh, mm. Yeah, and it's supposed to it's supposed to make it more vib more vibrant color. I, I don't know. You're just going off the instructions. Yeah. This is what everybody else does. Didn't like that one. Redo. I thought I was going to like sand it all off. Grab one of those, I'm gonna set it over next to these. <laughs> you add one. Get some lightage. I don't know if I got the whole coating off. Ah, oh, yeah, you did. It's still kind of brown. <laughs> Redo. Okay. Let's see what 24 volts looks like. Still kind of purple in that. It's pretty blue. I think it might be it. Okay. I still had I still had a little bit, little amperage left. Oh, it's still on. It's pretty blue. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Maybe there's some slight reading. I think. Let's see if it reacts with that. Yeah, it's zero. Yeah, see, 
of zero because yeah. there for a while like it was this one amp one amp on one of them it just never yeah i don't i don't know if that was a connection thing or so let's uh so that might be your number as long as you write that number down whenever you want to do more 23.7 we, we, we can uh we can get them all the same color someone's asking about the spark is it available yes will you take one thousand dollars cash no <laughs> if, if it can be in my hand in one minute yes <laughs> but i'm too far away that sucks for you, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's hard to pick on color because I some of them just look cool. Yeah. Razzle dazzle. The after. Easy in there, don't blow it. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.